Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to explain uh, how we can recover a Windows instance if you forgot uh, local administrator password. Okay, so here I have an EC2 instance which is already logged, uh, which is already launched, and I already changed the password. And um, I'm going to recover that password. So if you have access to key pair, if you change that password, still you cannot log in by browsing the key pair. For example, I'm going to, uh, I'll try to connect to this uh, EC2 instance. I have given the public IP address. Then it is asking for the username and password. Go to actions, get Windows password. And this is a key pair I have associated to this EC2 instance. And I'm browsing that key pair. Then click on decrypt password. So this is an auto generated password. And I'm just giving that password and default username is administrator. Then I'm giving the password, click on OK. There you can see it is saying uh, the login attempt failed. The reason is, so uh, when you connect for the first time, Amazon recommend to change your password. So what I did, I have changed the password from this default one. So then let's assume you forgot that. But I, I remembered, but let's assume you forgot the password. So now, by using Systems Manager, I'm going to recover this Windows password. All right, so first, navigate to Systems Manager. So in Systems Manager, we have an option called Run Command. So under Management and Governance, you can find a Systems Manager. Navigate to Systems Manager, and scroll down under Instances and Nodes, you can find Run Command option. Navigate to run command and here select run command option. So here I'm going to filter by using platform, platform type as a windows. So then in uh, when you click on next, next and here are somewhere you can find run EC2 rescue for windows tool. So we can use this tool to rescue the windows mainly for three operations. One is for reset access. It is going to reset the local admin um, password and it is going to store the new password in parameter store here you can find the parameter store so it is here is a parameter store and it is going to store a new password in parameter store first thing second thing collect logs so if you want to get some logs from a ec2 instance windows operating systems one and you can just use this and you can get all the logs to an s3 bucket third thing fix all so it is going to fix all offline windows root volume um, uh, attached errors and all. So this is going to fix all the errors. And here is an option, reset access. So then scroll down here to what EC2 instance you want to reset that password. You can specify instances by using tag. If you have lots of EC2 instances, choose instances manually or choose a resource group. When you select this choose instance manually, it is not showing any EC2 instances. The reason is the systems manager is completely different service and EC2 is completely different service. There is no communication between these two. So to establish communication between these, we need to create an IAM role and we need to associate that IAM role to our EC2 instance. So in simple, on behalf of us, that role is going to perform tasks via the systems manager. For that, navigate to IAM. Navigating to IAM, navigate to roles. So here I already have some AWS services and roles. Click on create role. And here is a EC2. Select that EC2. I'm going to associate this role to my EC2. Then click on next. And we need to associate a policy. Again, a policy is nothing but a document contains set of permissions in AWS environment. Look for SSM. You can find multiple roles. Amazon EC2 role for SSM is suitable to perform the run command and all. So, but instead of this, I'll prefer to go with the SSM full access. The reason is the newly created password is going to store in this parameter store. Here is a parameter store, it is going to create that password here. So to get to gain access in that parameter store also, so I'm going to choose Amazon SSM full access role. Then click on next, 
here if you want to give any tags you can give that click on review and here what name you want to give so role for ec2 ssm so then you can give a description then click on create role now one role got created that is role for ec2 ssm and here is a permissions associated uh, first thing second thing associate this role to our ec2 instance navigate to ec2 dashboard whatever the instance you want to recover select that instance navigate to actions instance settings attach or replace iam role go here select the required role role for ec2 ssm the one we created a couple of a minute back then click on apply now a role got associated here and this is going to take couple of um, minutes to reflect that here so why because when you associate this role we are going to have a agent ssm agent that agent is going to come alive and it is going to look for the required services to view all that information like you can go to instance settings get system log and here you can find whether that uh, you know agent is running or or not you can find all those information here so install agent version and everything you can find uh, that here get system log and here ssm agent this is what the version so the agent is existed so now we have associated required role then come back to systems manager run command and i'm going to filter for windows operating system and looking for run ec2 rescue for windows tool then scroll down i want to reset the access choose instance manually so it is not showing that instances yet so just wait for a minute or two so or else you can just go and you can specify uh, instances like a name is equal to like a, a windows instance by using tags also you can do that so where tag name is equal to uh, windows instance i'm filtering resources by using tag click on add so then if you want to pass any of the parameters or commands you can just give the commands here and the timeout you can just give here and whatever the output you are going to get so you can write it to an s3 bucket just simply select enable write to an s3 bucket so choose a bucket so i'm going to select an s3 bucket so i have uh, uh, i already have a bucket called avinash.website. website this is a bucket and i have only two objects within this bucket so i'm selecting this particular bucket so then you can even write that output to cloudwatch uh, also so then if you want to get any sns notification related to this you can select that and just click on run now see it is in progress and here you can observe in how many targets this is executing and uh, we have only one instance at moment by uh, with this particular tag and that already contain uh, appropriate role so then it is in progress just click on the dc2 instance to view the output see it is showing as success and here is the output so you can just click on amazon s3 it is going to take us to amazon s3 bucket so it is taking us to amazon s3 bucket just just give a quick refresh like it is going to show us let's navigate to systems manager manually okay run command command history this is the one let's go here select this and here is output so it is initialized and uh, you know successfully performed ec2 rescue successfully installed on this ec2 instance and second it got executed a couple of commands and you can just go here get the amazon s3 
Okay, however, it is showing the output uh, within the systems manager. So I'll do one thing, I'll try to log into my uh, EC2 instance. Now, by using the same, like I'm using this key pair, that existing key pair to uh, log in. Click on connect. So administrator is a default username and here is auto generated password. I'm just giving that, click on okay. And still it is saying login attempt failed. See, if you recall, so basically whatever the new password is resetted by the systems manager, it is going to store that password in parameter store. Just navigate to parameter store. And here we have one output. So new local administrator password for this particular instance. This is an instance ID. That is what our existing instance. 63CA, the same one, 60CA. Just select this. And here is a value. And when this got executed and all, you can find that information. Just click on the show. And this is a new password we got for this instance. Just copy that. And now try with this password. Click on connect. This is a default username. And I'm giving the password which I got in parameter store. Then click on OK. Then give yes. And we got connected. And when we perform the rescue operation, we are going to get a new icon or new software called EC2 Rescue on our Windows desktop. So you can just go here and you can, uh, you know, it, it got rescued. So this is how exactly we can recover uh, Windows password. If you, if you lost the key pair, or if you, uh, if you still have access to the key pair, but if you forgot the password, we can use this option. Associating appropriate role is uh, an important step in this process. Thanks for watching this video, guys.